These are some of my favorite BOSU ball ab and core exercises. So just go ahead and follow me to the best that you can. And don't have to go super fast. Actually, slower might be better. Slower and more controlled. So yeah, this I'm definitely working my core. I'm just going four circles to the right and four to the left. Also working those hips. So let's just do a couple more of these. I have a whole bunch of really fun exercises. Nothing yucky. <laughs> well, I like them. <laughs> so you'll have to let me know if uh, you like these too. So no, no icky crunches, nothing that's gonna hurt your back. All right, slowly, carefully get off your BOSU. And we're gonna do some repeater knees with pullovers. So you're gonna round and curl. Let's just practice these. Curl like this. All right, let's do eight and then we'll switch sides and leaning a little bit forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first set is always the hardest. So we're going to do two sets of these. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set, switching, always looking at the BOSU before you, uh, you step on it. Eight, seven, let's go a little faster. Six, five, four, oh my goodness. Three, two, and one. All right, last set on the side. And eight, seven, six, my heart rate's up. Five, four, three, two, one. Didn't know we were doing a little bit of cardio, did you? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, step back on the uh, the BOSU. Let's do some reaches. So working those obliques. All right, little bend in the knee and then reaching to the side, back to center, side and center. So you're stretching this side and when you bring it back, you're working these oblique muscles. And you're also working your core since you're on the BOSU. So you have so many muscles that are being recruited. And all of these exercises keep going. If it's too much of a stretch, maybe just go to here. But if you can, reach, reach, reach without falling over. Fantastic. All right, let's do, let's do two more. You might even fill that pull on the upper low back, or I should say the upper glutes, and you'll feel that right over here. All right, back to center. And then from here, you're gonna go into goal post arms. Let's go ahead and step off. And knee, a little more obliques. Two, let's do eight, three, four, five. Only one set is these six, seven and eight and same thing on the other side ready eight seven you can touch if you want six don't hit your kneecap five four can you pause a little bit three two one more i'm gonna try to touch this time and yes touch excellent all right we're gonna do some a little bit of oblique crunches this time I'm gonna curl it all right these are a little are a little bit challenging you might want to start these on your mat without the bosu first and i'm going to crunch and then i'm going to try to pause at the top if i can four let's do ten five six seven eight oh yeah i feel it nine one more makes ten sweet other side cardio and abs. All right, one, two, three, four, six more, six, five, four, three, two, and 
one awesome step on your mat in your mat your bosu ball let's just do a couple bounces just to get the heart rate a little bit lower and let's next we're gonna go to the floor but these aren't bad we're going to do a uh, forearm plank and then we're gonna work our oh, our abs again all right we're gonna flip this over let me see are we no we're gonna we're gonna keep it up right yeah I'll get better that way all right so from here forearm plank on the bosu from here now don't sink like this push up using those shoulders and then you're going to drop the knees to your mat and then bring them back up okay drop and up raise lower lift and squeeze your booty at the top too lower lift lower lift lower lift keep using those shoulders keep pushing up let's do five more in five four three two one excellent if you want to take a little break and do a quick child's pose go ahead and do so great all right let's next do some dead bugs we're gonna put our back and our head on the bosu with one hand on the floor all right let's go ahead and bend the knee and then we can try moving the arms up so you can just try different positions and try to keep your hips level and flex that foot let's see if you can lift the hips a little bit higher i have this beautiful view right now of the palm trees can you hear the birds in the background right, let's do a couple more one on each side one and two excellent since we're here let's just do a couple booty lifts and put your hands on your head up you can even do a little little tilt if that feels better let's do three more three two and one you know if you have a strong booty that will help reduce back pain so I always work that but all right next let's go ahead and work our obliques on the bow suit from here we're just going to twist up Ooh, that's hard yep to make it easier let's use the arm too let's do eight three four i'm gonna try lowering with control let's do eight five you can also do this way six seven and eight let's do the same thing i'm gonna flip it over i'm gonna show you the back side all right and so you can do this way oh that's harder <laughs> let's just do my goodness you can do this you can help yourself up you can change the position like this three use momentum on these to help you up four five let's do three more six i'm gonna try some reaches seven and one more eight and down on your back a couple bridges so it's really interesting when you do isolated exercises you can see which side is stronger so that you need to do more exercises on the weaker side and that will help you get that one side stronger so at least an extra set sometimes two sets on your weak side if you notice that there is a big discrepancy all right next up we're going to do a modified bird dog so go on all fours with your hands on the bow suit 
So it's easier if you have the, your hands on either side. If you want it harder, your hands will be right in the middle. So I'm going to put my hands on either side. And I'm not going to go too close or too far away. I'm trying to go it about 90 degrees. And then I'm going to lift one leg up and then lower. Looking straight down at the BOSU lift and lower. So you don't need to look at your body. You know where it is in space. And trying to go not too high, only nine degrees. Lift and make sure your, your hips are level and lower. When you feel you've got your balance down and this is easy, you can then lift the opposite arm with the opposite leg with control. To make it harder, you can speed it up, but I don't want to fall over. And you're gonna try to make that leg straight, which is even harder. So the easier it is, you would just go a bent leg, or if you wanna go for the challenge, you would do straight leg up, maybe a pause and lower so you can see this is even a challenge for me and i am a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach and i exercise every day and i practice balance exercises every single day so if something is challenging that doesn't mean that you're bad at it or you can't do it, it just means that that's actually a really good exercise for you to practice and master. All right, I'm gonna do one more and then we'll do a nice little cobra stretch. Excellent, you wanna do a quick child's pose. And then from here, I'm just going to lay down gently on my BOSU. And you can either put your hands on either side of the BOSU. Go ahead and point those feet and just do a little stretch here. Or if you want more of a stretch, you can put your hands on either side of the BOSU and push yourself up just gently. Or if you want to do an upward facing dog like yoga, you would get your knees off the mat and you would stretch up like this, squeeze your butt. A little bit advanced. So you may be here here or here. Now, you just do whatever feels the best that your back can handle. If your back is too arched, your back might not like it. Everyone's flexibility is a little bit different. Let's go ahead and go to a child's pose. And nice little stretch here. You may be so flexible that you can put your forehead on the BOSU or even on the floor. One deep breath in and out as you go out. Let's go ahead and get up for our final stretch. From here, let's stretch those obliques, bringing one arm up, bending that elbow. Yes, it's a tricep stretch, but it's also a lat and oblique stretch. Uh, bend the knees just a little bit. A little side twist and switching overhead up and over very good do a couple shoulder rolls back back and back hands behind your back interlace those fingers for a nice little stretch and just sway lowering the heart rate getting any tension out and if you are looking for a coach, I help with weight loss and I am a personal trainer, so we can do virtual training sessions. You can go to my website and you can see everything that I offer and see if there's anything that you're interested in. My website is thehighfivediet.com. I also have a nutrition diet book. It's called The High Five Diet. It's my favorite recipes. They are weight loss recipes. They will improve your health and reduce cancer risk. So check that out. And yeah, if uh, I've got lots more videos on this channel, everything 
that works your heart <laughs> will burn calories. So you don't always have to search for ab exercises to get that waistline lower. So let me know if you have any questions and hope to see you soon. For my favorite low-fat, oil-free, plant-based vegan recipes, order my cookbook with vegan nutrition facts on how to prevent and reverse disease, which chronicles my personal health and weight loss story through my website, thehighfivediet.com.